Yeah, so uh, I was looking to basically flip a house. Um, a lot of the times what you would do is you would buy an old house, fix it up, you know? And it was like, why do the latter part when I just buy the house new, you know what I'm saying? So uh, the moment I walked in, I just had this feeling, you know? It was kind of like some presence was there, it was watching me, and it was just kind of uncomfortable. And then I started noticing like the little things, you know? Like sometimes the refrigerator door would just be open and like I closed it, but it would still like come open, you know? And I was like, this is a new refrigerator, you know? It was not cool. Uh, some of the other stuff was like, sometimes you hear like this woo sound, you know? And the last thing is uh, sometimes I would hear like a voice that would go, kill yourself. And you know, that was kind of like unsettling and I was like, this is not good vibes. I didn't have the budget to get like an exorcist to come out. So initially I was looking for like a DIY solution. So uh, I went onto the internet and I purchased a kit. And inside the kit, they gave me like a little, uh, little cross and then they gave me a bibble and like a little thing of water, all right, a little water bottle. And uh, I, I drank it and gotta say, not very refreshing. I don't know, I read the, 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 the bibble. It's like some Shakespeare stuff. And it had nothing to do with an exorcism. So I tried to return the whole thing. What do you mean it's not a water bottle? The whole thing was a scam. Don't don't buy the DIY exorcism kit. Get, get a professional. Yeah, so um, I started looking around uh, for like local priests and local exorcists. Uh, you know, because it's like this whole like philosophy that I have of, you know, think globally, but act locally. You know what I'm saying? I started shopping around. I was looking for like priests my price range. That's per year, right? Finally, I found a guy. He is a priest in training. And I thought to myself, if I can go to a, you know, barber in training and it's cheaper, this guy would be just as good. Uh, so I called him over. Are you here for the spirit? Oh my God, you're good. So what's it about? This house that has the spirit haunting it. You know, there are lots of reasons a spirit can haunt a house. Um, and I've never been able to find out, or not find out, why a house is haunted in all the houses that I've done. How many houses have you dealt with this kind of thing? Several. Um, more than a couple. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting something. It's, uh... It's definitely the spirit, and he's he's here. He's in the, in the house. He's in the house, uh, somewhere that way. Yeah. He's over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just like the the fridge. It won't like close. Yes, yeah, the yeah. fridge. He's... It's it's cold. It's so feel feel the fridge. I mean, yeah, but fridges are supposed to be cold. No, no, that's the spirit making the fridge cold. And he, uh, what, what did you, what did you say he does? Uh, leave, leaves the door, like, slightly ajar. Like, he opens it like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and he opens it because he's in the fridge, and he wants to get out of the fridge, and haunt you in other places, right? He haunts you in other places? Yeah. So well, how do I get him out of the fridge? Yeah, so you just, you just put a lock on the fridge and then you can't open it anymore. So isn't it going to be a pain for me to get stuff? Like how long do I have to keep it off? I, th I think after a couple days he'll get the point and he'll say, oh, I, I probably shouldn't go in the fridge anymore. At that point, we went upstairs and that's when things got a little weird. Spirit, and as I go up the stairs, he's getting stronger, and he's one of these rooms is your bedroom. Yeah, yeah, it's that, that one. That one, that one. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's your bedroom. That's my bedroom. And it's uh, dark and and cold, and this, I think he's there right now. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna go in, and then when it's safe, I'll come get you. Okay. Okay. Good. Right yeah. here. Sounds good. Okay. 
Yeah, so uh, we went upstairs and things in the room were out of place, you know? You ready to come in? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, what happened in here? He did all of this while you were waiting outside. Looks like a child drew that. Then the priest pulled out like this little bottle. Um, I think it had the words natural life on it. This is essential oil. And it's it drives the spirits crazy. And he opens it and like like pours it around the room, right? And like instantly it smells fantastic. It's great. And then after that he started like seizing. What is that now? You me? Yes. Are you the demon? Demon or spirit? Both. Right? And he was like, you built on top of an Indian burial ground. And then I was like, yo, I'm Indian, so it's cool. But then he was like, no, I mean Native American. And then I was like, oh shit, my bad. I was being a dick, right? Yeah, and then we just kind of hashed it out, you know? And, you know, he told me a little about his life. And I told him a little bit about my life, you know? And we bonded. And he agreed to, you know, stop telling me to kill myself. And he agreed to stop opening up the fridge. I told him he's free to haunt the, you know, the next patrons. I just don't want him to, like, you know, when people are visiting, I don't want him to do any spooky stuff. So, you know, I get the most maximum value out of it. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't do that. I mean, you know, moves with me. You want to follow me on Instagram, dog? Hashtag haunted. Ah! So, uh, y'all said there was muffins, right? There's no muffins. Well, that's some bullshit, isn't it? Let's go. Let's go.